Caddis Maximus here. Just found another Pexto tool, and so I just wanted to make a little video about it. Pexto is a brand that's still around, but they make uh, commercial or industrial sh uh, sheet metal manufacturing and bending equipment, that type of stuff. But many, many years ago, they started out making sheet metal, but all equipment, but also making hand tools. But they're pr pretty rare. A lot of it's from before World War II. And I think sometime in the 1950s or 60s, they end up getting sold out and they stop making hand tools. And so I've done a few of them, a couple sets of pliers, a very old school kind of linear wrench. And this is a more modern style, we'll call it Crescent or Baco. The Swedish company Baco, which uh, Snap-on now owns, uh, is credited with quote unquote inventing this style of adjustable wrench, although there is a patent by Worcester from 1857, which is credited with being the first original version. The modification was this angle here, it's about 20 degrees or 25 degrees, and then having a broach slot all the way through. But it's interesting to find a Pexo, they just stamped it right there. They actually didn't put their name in the forging, which seems a little bit strange. It's almost like, is this really a Pexto or is this a uh, actually forged by somebody else, who knows who, Baco or Crescent. There are a variety of manufacturers. Uh, even in the early days, Crescent came out their wrench in 1909. So I find that just a little bit odd. Otherwise, it's a pretty decent wrench. We have some dots stamped into it, obviously some type of identification marking. Jaws are pretty tight. Nice, even broaching. That is a screw, so you can actually take it apart and clean this out. We do have a probably a nickel plated, maybe a chrome plated thumb wheel. And we can see it is proper buttress threads. Not a lot else to say, I just wanted to document a Pexto, a pretty rare crescent wrench. Really consistent broaching, how you can tell the parallelism of the broaching and the grinding or uh, cutting of this surface here, is if the jaw maintains relative tightness. If it's really tight at the top and loose at the back, then it means that there's a taper in here. And it just indicates manufacturing quality along with that centering. Anyway, this one definitely seems to be a pretty decent model. It's just a little eight inch. And just thought it was curious. It's a little Pexto adjustable wrench. And not a lot else to say. I mean, pretty well manufactured and just wanted to make a little video about it because I've never seen a Pexto Crescent wrench until I ran into this one. Anyway, I guess the last thing to really say is the handle is pretty darn thin. Even for an eight inch, that is a mighty thin handle. Wish they would have made that just a little bit wider. But other than that, we know, I mean, it's a little bit more cheaply made. This is a narrow jaw and I'll get into that. In a couple videos, I'm gonna make a one about early Jamestown Crescent wide jaw wrenches, which are really some of the best ones that you can get. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.